Hello, my friends. I hope that you are doing well. Um, so yes, here I am in my room in France, um, uh, next to Paris, in uh, Saint Cloud. Saint Cloud is a city in the western part of Paris, so it's rather wealthy district. Um, and uh, today. I want to tell you so um, what to expect in the following weeks for you. I will not post so many videos because I'm here in France and I have a few issues. The first issue is I'm staying at my parents or I can use the internet but the internet connection is very 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 slow. It's still the internet connection that works with the wire, it works with the phone. You see it's the kind of phone like this wire. So we have the, the Wi-Fi, there is the Wi-Fi but the internet connection is so slow. So when I upload like one video, it takes me uh, three or four hours to upload it on YouTube. So that's really complicated for me to post so many videos. The other thing is um, I'm here with my kid and my wife and it's very complicated because uh, I have to take care of Paul the whole time. Um, as soon as he wakes up until the end of the day, he's always like he doesn't stop, he never stops. So I always have to be there. Either I, either me, either my wife. There's, uh, there's no choice. It's either me, either my wife. So I cannot produce so many videos. Uh, the third thing is, uh, once I told you, once you are outside of China, it's a little bit difficult to discuss, to, to show you something interesting about China. Well, I can discuss things with you. I can show you because in France, there are also many things happening that are linked, related to China. But that's a little bit uh, probably less interesting for you. I am going to show you around a little bit, uh, but that's less interesting for you uh, uh, because I cannot show you China, right? I can just show you a little bit around, that's okay, uh, in France. Uh, what have I been doing here? So I did the legalization for my, for my paper, for my, for, my, uh, for my degree. Here it is, you see, legalization that you have here, okay, that's the stuff. Okay, I'm not sure what they write in Chinese here. Uh, uh, whatever. Yeah, here it is. It's the numbers. It's everything. You know, yeah. And uh, the other thing that I'm doing is I'm working on the other channel, on the French teaching, uh, French teaching channel, because I hope that in the longer run, I hope that the other channel can grow faster. I think. Um, there is really, uh, on, on YouTube, on the internet, there is really a big market for teaching, for teaching languages or teaching some specific skills. Because people, it's, it's something that people need and they are willing to pay for it, even they are willing to pay for it. So let's say I want to go to, uh, uh, to the US or to France or to Germany. I have to speak German, I have to speak French language, I have to speak, uh, <laughs> that's my wife, I have to speak a specific language. So, um, so I, I will have to go there and, 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 and to study. Uh, I have, I, if, if, if the videos are available uh, for free, uh, of course there will be viewers. And I noticed for the French, uh, the French market on YouTube, uh, that's something that I like to do. I like to teach French language. And I noticed that the competition is not, there's not that much competition yet. So I said, okay, why not? And I started this channel last year and now I improved a little bit in the way I, uh, it's more clear in my mind how I want to proceed with the videos. So what I've been doing uh, is I've been producing many, 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 many videos and I will post them in advance. Uh, you know, in China this year, uh, starting from uh, next year in February, the VPN are going to be forbidden. So I'm, I'm worried that I might not access YouTube. I, I might not be able to access YouTube anymore. <coughs> no more videos for me. No more YouTube for me. I, I have no idea what's going to happen. We'll see. We'll see. That will be interesting. But you see these days, China is really... Uh, really starting... There was this whole process for the foreigners that <coughs> now they're checking you a lot. Uh, you need to legalize the degree, you need to get the criminal record and legalize it. <clears throat> then there are many new laws. Recently, they forbid all the cheese in China. So there is a new dump, dumping, uh, kind of dumping against, against Europe, against France. And that's something that, that they do all the time. They will, say, they will uh, attack and see how, how the, the countries react. And China is a very strong country. 
there are many interests. We don't want to lose the tourism. We don't want to lose the, you know, we need China. <coughs> so we are not going to do anything about it. <coughs> so that's the same about the VPN. They do whatever they want. And that's something that, uh, uh, that's something that I always say, uh, they should, uh, th th that uh, our government should protect, protect us more. And on top of all this, I'm a little bit concerned about my, my health and uh, my kids' health. So I'm in good health, there's no issue with this. But still, I had vitiligo. Vitiligo is very is autoimmune disorder, autoimmune system disorder. Um, it's linked uh, with the genetics, but it's also linked with the heavy metal, soil, and food contamination in central China. Uh, I have been coughing a lot for... Uh, for the last one year and I went to the doctor, I will tell you about this in another video but because that's, that's also interesting. My kid was sick for about three months and he had water in his lungs. So you see in, in central China it's very very humid. There is same in, in, in other countries by the way. Uh, when I went to the US um, in, uh, in uh, Boston, in this area, uh, I, the first thing that I noticed, I was like, "Wow, this place is so humid!" Because in Europe, we are in, like the kings, right? The weather is not humid. There are not so many disease. Um, it's very good living environment. So there is the humidity uh, for me. Uh, uh, there is all this. About the cultural aspect, I love China, I love Chinese people, I love China, I love the, my life here, about the opportunity, working as a teacher, teaching in China, I love this, the wine business, I love it as well, but it's not easy, it doesn't work uh, like this, it's not easy, you need, you need to push it, it's, nothing is easy in fact, but you need to push it, you have to push it. About the cultural environment, something also that gets me a little bit tired, and I think you noticed this in the videos before I came back to France, I was starting to complain a little bit, that's the noise, the noise, you know, the noise, the crowd, sometimes it gets, it gets me a little bit tired. Uh, then I need to consider my kid, I need to consider myself, I need to consider my parents who are getting really old. Um, so anyway, just is to tell you, I am not so sure how many more years I will stay in China. I have to see. About my channel, I'm not going to stop anyway, but I've decided that this year, um, to do this, I will see, because it doesn't, it doesn't rely on me that much. I want to, to start and teach Chinese language together with my wife, together with Wen. Uh, but I need to find the time because uh, with uh, with Paul and uh, with uh, with the wine business, with everything, it's it's difficult. Even though this kind of of short videos, when you teach the language, it's, it's it doesn't take long. You can check my other channel for the French teaching. I just take my camera and one video, one video, one video. It's very fast, very quick. Maybe uh, three minutes for one video just to explain something that can be useful for the oral Chinese language. So this is what I want to do. Uh, and I believe that's the way that the channel could continue. Uh, I could continue this channel. But anyway, all this to tell you that, of course, uh, these next weeks there will be less videos. And I hope you, uh, you understand it. And I apologize in advance for, for this. Uh, I will be back in China in the middle of October, so don't expect too many videos until then <laughs> for the next uh, three weeks, something like this. Um, and and also uh, in the future, uh, I might start slowly to to um, emphasize the channel more on Chinese teaching. I will go on with the videos where I explain to you my understanding of China, but of course if I'm back to France in the longer run, I'm not going to to show you anything interesting and it's not so much my position to discuss life in China or, or I can try to explain things from far away, things that I understand, um, the knowledge that I might have about some specific issues but I will not be there in China to really to, to see her uh, by myself. So what I, what I will share will, will not be the same anyway. Uh, 
Uh, so guys, that's what I want to tell you. Thank you for watching the channel. Take care everyone. I love you all. Au revoir.